Fishing often starts at an early age here in the natural state, and learning to fish from the bank is a lifetime memory for many Arkansans. Some anglers branch out as they grow older, buying boats and starting a different fishing journey. But many anglers, more than you might expect, stick to their bank fishing roots. We found from a statewide fishing license holder survey that 50% of anglers in Arkansas fish from the bank at least some of the time, and the majority of those fish from the bank all of the time. There's a good reason so many anglers fish from the bank. Those people are successful doing it, or they wouldn't, they wouldn't keep doing it, they wouldn't have their friends and their family coming out there and doing it. Concerns about time and money commitments might scare away some would-be anglers, but success isn't always proportional to investment. Bank fishing is economical, but the time spent outdoors and the action it provides are just as rewarding as any other catch. Anyone who's ever felt like fishing was uh, something that just takes a lot of effort, uh, a lot of money, uh, you know, it really, especially bank fishing, you can pull over on the side of the road, I mean, get off the road in the parking area somewhere and make a few casts. You don't need a lot of time, you know, with your, you can go buy a very inexpensive rod and reel, some little hooks, sinker, bobbers, some crickets or worms. You don't have to be any kind of expert to get started bank fishing. But bank fishing also presents exciting new opportunities for experienced anglers. You know, some of the bank fishing locations, you can't take a boat. Below dams, for example, a lot of below the Corps of Engineers dams, they're blocked off to boats, but there are bank fishing areas. Below a lot of our Game and Fish Commission Lake dams, uh, you know, the streams are usually too small to bring a boat in there, but the fishing can be great, especially when there's water flowing out of the lake and those fish swim up those, those creeks. So yeah, even if you have a boat, some of the best angling opportunities in the state uh, are below these dams where you can only fish from the bank. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission has some useful tools to help anglers get started. Well, first you can do some scouting online ahead of time. Get on the agfc.com, look at the interactive mapper. There's little fish symbols on there, which are fish habitat sites where, where game and fish biologists have gone out and created uh, special habitat features to attract fish. Oftentimes, those are gravel beds that we've put out, which attract brim, bluegill, red ear sunfish, etc. That's where they like to spawn, is on those gravel beds, and they spawn all summer long. So May through probably early September. So they're gonna be coming into those gravel beds, and you can find those online. Or you can just cast your bait in the usual spots. Really, you need to look for some cover. If, and, and you know, those, the things I mentioned uh, about that are on that mapper, they're underwater, you're not gonna be able to see those. But there's a lot of stuff that you can see. Weed beds, uh, lay down logs, uh, things like that. But that, uh, that's what's gonna hold fish, whether it be brim, bass, catfish, crappie, whatever species of fish you're looking for, they're gonna hang out. All those are covered like loving fish. And uh, that's what you need to look for and try to at least be in casting distance of something like that. Game and Fish offers hundreds of places to fish and gain access to public waterways, but the agency's numerous lakes provide some of the best options. Many feature fishing piers, where some of the best spots are just beneath your feet. Pier fishing, uh, the mistake I see people make is just throwing out into open water. Now sometimes there's brush piles out there, but oftentimes there's not. Uh, a lot of times, game and fish, our biologists will put brush up under the pier to attract fish near the pier, but even in cases where that's where there's no brush under the pier, the shade from the pier on a sunny day, the pilings going down the water provide cover for the fish, and so you'll have a lot more fish right up near the pier than you will way out in open water. Game and Fish Lakes also have bank fishing access along shoreline buffer zones. On Game and Fish Lakes, it's really nice because in addition to the formal access areas, boat ramps, walk-in accesses, things like that, there's a buffer around all the way around the lake. Every Game and Fish Lake has some, some buffer strip. And if you can get on that buffer from a public access point, whether it's a road, a boat ramp or something, you can walk all the way around the lake. You can fish wherever you want. With Arkansas's bounty of lakes and streams, good bank fishing is rarely very far.
the opportunities are, are unlimited around Arkansas. And it doesn't have to be a lake. It could be a stream, it could be below a dam, uh, a small bayou somewhere in the Delta, South Arkansas. It doesn't take a lot of time or effort. Just pull over, find a safe place off the side of the road, get your rod and reel out, make a few casts, and you might be surprised at what you can catch.